hello everyone welcome back in last lecture we have already learned about the local queue and seen the properties like that the persistence and, uh, and lots of local queue property we have already seen now in this lecture we are going to deal with the rfh util we are going to see why why teach the importance of rfh util and why we are using rfh util in detail if i come to your definition online definition rfh util is a tool which is used to browse queue okay we can use to to connect to a queue manager and access the queue if you want to do any operation on a queue then you can do from the rfh util okay suppose suppose let's take an example we have currently for this queue manager we have currently this queue qma1.local and if you want to do some uh, put some message into this this queue if you want to sub save message from this queue if you want to purge message from this queue then these all thing you can perform on this using the rfh util okay the any operation if you want to perform a particular queue can be achieved using the rfh util now coming to see few main sub, uh, properties on rfh util in main section if you see coming here here it is a queue manager the queue manager to which you want to connect i want to connect with the queue manager whose name is qma1 then you have to write here the Q, select here the QMA1 Q manager. After that, you have to just click on MQ and connect. The, you can see from okay, I have selected wrong Q manager. QMA1, just click here and connect. You can see connected to the QMA1, it has been given. Earlier, it was giving us Q manager not available because I was used, I was trying to connect with the QMA X1 and, and that Q manager was down. Uh, to connect the queue manager queue manager should be in up after that you have to connect to the queue manager qma1 then from here you can select the queue let's select the queue from here <coughs> i have selected this queue there are three there is there is here you can see there is four options read queue write queue browse queue and save queues start browse browse queue it means if you want to see what the message present inside it currently there is no message start browse is if you want to see message one by one one by one then you can browse from here okay read about read browse means if you want to just delete one message from starting read and delete read and delete like that then it is going to read browse route write is is called is, is used to write the message into the queue if you want to some uh, put some message into, inside this queue then you use to write queue okay now here there is the option of open file this is used to select the file that you want to select the message you want to uh, select the message that you want to uh, put into this queue let me select op, click on the open file there are lots of file already i have made it let's take this example that is transaction.xml I have selected this file. You, you, you can see from here what file I have selected. I have selected this file. Transaction that the, the transaction number, date, quantity, these all files are present. Data present are. If you want to put this currently into this queue, just you have to click on write queue. Once you put into this queue, after that you can see currently the queue depth is one. From here you can also from here you can also see the queue depth will be one, and same message will be present in the queue. If you, if you branch message from here itself you will, you will be able to see that that message same message message data you can see okay now coming to the this is the way how much you can write the message okay now if you want to read queue it will delete first message from the beginning you can see one message deleted 
it will read first message from reading it is basically preferred if you just like consider like that i just browse the message i have read this message and this message is not required to me i what i am going to do i am going to read you and again i am going to see the another message this message also need not required to me then again i am going to read you read read you is is to uh, read the next message from the specific queue read means you want to delete the message from that queue write is used to put the message into the queue browse queue is used to browse the message if you want to browse a particular message you can browse queue now start browse is used to see the message sequentially first message sent here again if you click on browse next second message third message fourth message fifth message these all message can be seen from the using the browsers if you want to browse pre previous then you can browse previous similarly now coming to the here browse next here in browse if you want to in the browsing then you have to click on in browse now coming to the display queue display queue is to display the all message present inside the queue you can see this and what are the properties present everything you can display from here if you want to select a particular fifth message then you have to click on fifth and click on start browse it will display only fifth message from here you can check from here. if you want to check a particular message then you have to display queue select that message and click on start browse it will you can see from particular that message okay now coming to the purge queue purge queue is used to purge the all message from the queue if you click on purge queue all eight message will be deleted let me do you can see all eight message has been deleted the purge queue is to purge the message now let me again write the message now save queue save queue is used to save the message if you want to save the message in a particular file then you, you, we prefer to use the save queue save queue we used to save the message into in form of file if you want to save the <coughs> that seven message you can do the save queue if i click on save queue here option came where you want to save if i want to save here itself just click on either you can save in form of field folder so let me write some message folder like that i want to save in some folder then after that in folder just you can write any name of the file i am writing the file sorry file then click on open here it will came the two option after save saving after uh, saving this message you want to delete from the queue or remove from the queue or not remove if you click on no then all message will be there we you are only going to save that message in form in your local system if you click on yes all seven message is going to deleted from that queue let me do yes here is to form option one file or many file one file is used in case uh, in 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 case uh, let's say all seven message if you want to save in form of one file then it is coming as a one file if you are selecting file per message then each message will be saved into a one file first message in one file second message one file third message one file fourth message one file similarly seventh message one file if you are selecting one file then all seven message will be selected for, will be uh, in form of one file so i am currently doing the file per message i want to save in, uh, save all seven message uh, separately here uh, option came uh, here option came what is the range of message you want to save you can select any range if i want i want if you want to select from only seventh message you have to click on the start message is seventh and how much message the current index count one so what is the range of message you want to save you can select from here itself the, if i want to select only fifth message then a start message will be fifth and the max count will be one If you want to select the fifth, sixth, seventh message, the start count will be fifth, and the max count will be three. The max count is how much message you want to save it. Starting from the fifth, I want to save, I want to save fifth, sixth, and seventh. They should be three. Currently, I want to save this all seven messages. So let me do the start message will be first, and max count will be seven. These are the header things you you need to remove that if you want to uh, because in I don't want to keep this header thing in the message. You have to just untick this. Click on OK. It will save it. 
if i click on okay you can see not from here let me go to that d drive xml and if i go to new xml if i go to here if i go to msg you can see all file 1 file 2 file 3 file 6 all seven message came here you can see all seven message has been all seven message has been saved here okay if i do the let me again show you if i do the file one file then what will happen one one file will be saved let me show you if i do the one file if i browse the same location let me do and right here the one file message one file a message only one file will be saved for the all side message let me show you click on okay now you can see only one file is has been saved and all seven file will be saved here in one file if i open this file let me open this you can see all the data has been saved here okay now coming to again this property has been done now coming to the load queue if you want to load a part load a message into any queue load load queue is means the putting message into a queue if you want to do, do the loading message then you can do load from here you have to just select here the file which you want to load i want to select the file one okay then you have to select the batch size and file per message you can select just click on load it will load all message to this qqma1 let me click ok you can see all seven messages will load how this pattern happen basically logic follow like that let me show you load queue means loading message to this queue load queue means loading message to this queue the if if uh, if you do we have two options either you can select file per message the so what are the file follow what is the file pattern it follow it will load that if you see here file file one file two file three file five file six if a pattern getting follow if the same pattern follow like that then it will load all message okay if one file you have selected it will load the that one file with the seven message then let me show you that if i selected the one file and if i click on you okay you can see all next seven message has been loaded the <coughs> load queue is to load the message to a queue either you can load file per message it means you can file matching pattern you can load into the queue or you can do the one file one file you have select, select save the seven message 20 message whatever message you have saved you can load into directly into the queue okay now this is the one of the benefit of the load queue now coming to the move queue move queue is to move the message into another queue let me create another queue and to save show you let me just create a one queue that is the qm dot local now i have created another queue currently if you see here that queue name is not showing if you click on load name now this queue will be visible here you can see now coming to the this queue if currently this queue has 14 message and you can see this queue has not a single message if i want to move some message from the qma1 dot local to qm dot local and how we can move it here move queue come into picture with the help of move queue we can move it just to have to select the which queue you want to move and how much message you want to move it if you want to move only the 
uh, only the tenth, uh, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth message. You have to select here tenth and the start message and how much message. I want to save it the five message. Then select it five. If you want to, if you want to only move only tenth message, just click on tenth and save message you want. If I want to only fourteenth message, you have to select here fourteenth and there's the max count is one. If I want to move 13, 14 message, the select here is 13 and the max count is 2. Okay. Now coming, but I want to move all 14 messages. To select, let's select one here. And max count is 14. Then select 14. Now click on move. Now you can see this queue has currently depth at 0. And this queue, qm.local, will be all 14 message. All 14 messages in qm.local. So now we have learned about the read queue is to read the message, write queue is to write the message, browse queue is to browse the message, start browse is to start browse the message. Now coming to end queue, end browse is to brow end browse the open file is to select the file which you want to put the message into message. Now coming to the load name is to load the name of the queue. Save queue is to save the save the message uh, save the message in form in local system. Load name is to load the load the file inside the queue. Display is queue is to display the message present inside the RFA tutorial and select the particular message. Again, purge queue is to purge all message from the queue. Move queue is to move the message from a one queue to another queue. These all are the properties of the RFA tutorial mainly you getting used. Okay. Now this is the main segment. In main segment, these all properties have, have been, we have learned, and these all are the main property. Now coming to data section, here you will see the data. What are the message data present? You will see here. Okay. Now MQ, if if you came to MQMD, in MQMD we are going to see the message header property. Every message has some header property when it has been put in into the queue. What is the user ID? What is the backout queue count? And every property. Lots of property each per uh, replay to Q is QMA1. Everything lots of property for a particular Q is there that is called the header. The header is header details we are giving we are going to get in the MQMD. Similarly, you have some PS, these are not so much important. Now coming to USR. If you are using the integration development toolkit. Uh, in case some failure getting happen, then you are getting the uh, detail into USR. If you are getting the failure information of a particular message, then this information we are getting in the USR section. Then similarly, other is not such important. These all are not important. You know, coming to DLQ. DLQ. If the message, uh, if the if the, the currently this queue is the local queue, if this queue will be the dead letter queue, and if failure happen to dead dead letter queue, then you are going to get the queue details in the dead letter queue. Okay. So if this queue will be a dead letter queue and if you are then queue details will be seen here itself what is the queue details of that failure queue what is the queue details everything will you are going to get the details here itself what is the application put name everything you are going to get the detail in case of dead letter queue then you are going to get detail here itself okay so this is this is all about the rfa tutorial and hope you have enjoyed this lecture again if you have any doubt you can me drop me a mail to a learner and pass official gmail.com we'll again meet with the next lecture uh, and hope this will be an interesting uh, video and we have enjoyed the lesson thank you thank you all thanks